Hey guys, welcome to your Xcode tutorial. Moving forward with some of the coolest features of Xcode 4, and this just is mind blowing. I mean, some of the stuff that you can do is just unbelievable. And let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we've got a simple text screen or text box on the screen, and we're gonna simply write uh, some, something such as like bringers. This is what the the tutorial is gonna be about. You simply click print, and I don't know why I labeled it print, but it is print, and it shows up as a label on the screen. Maybe print is the most uh, accurate term, but we're we're just gonna put it there for now. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing today is actually inputting some text into a text field and then putting that onto the screen via a label. So let's jump out of the simulator here. We're going to start a new project. You can just do a simple uh, single view based application. Go ahead and click next, label it whatever you'd like. Um, I'm just going to put text field uh, toot and uh, universal application with three of the boxes checked here. And go ahead and click next. So now we're going to save our application and move into actually designing it and then putting the code behind it to actually have that happen where it moves from the text field into the label. So over to the left over here, we're going to go to the main storyboard, iPad.storyboard. We could do the iPhone, but uh, in our case, we're just going to focus on the iPad. As you guys see, it loads up our view um, here, which if you click... Um, you can go over to the attributes over here, and we're going to change the background to the My Bring Back Blue. I don't know why, but uh, we're going to do that. All right, so go down to uh, the next phase that is going to be putting the objects on the screen. So if we go to the objects down here, you can expand it a little bit so it gives you a little bit more room. We're going to throw a label right in the middle. We're going to put a button down below. And finally, we're going to put a text field on the screen as well. So we've got those three elements there. Go ahead and make them whatever size you'd like. Um, I'm gonna center them here if I can find the center of the screen. All right, and the label, go ahead and make that any size. You probably wanna make it at least the size of your text field because that's what the, uh, the text is gonna represent. I'm gonna go over here and align the text to center and we'll just get rid of the label for now. And then finally, we're going to take the button and make that however large you'd like. If you double click the button, you can add a title. So we're just going to put click instead of print and uh, put that on screen there. All right, so we've got the elements on the screen. Now we're going to go and hook them up. We're going to establish the outlets and the actions. And then we're going to take those outlets and actions and uh, put a simple code behind them so we can get the formula basically the example that we showed earlier. So if you click the editor to show the side-by-side, -side, which if you haven't used that before, you definitely want to uh, check it out because of the ease of use. And what we've got here is the text field, which if you hold control, drag over into our uh, header file. Quick, easy way to establish the outlet. And in this case, we're just gonna put uh, text field Make sure the type's correct. Storage weak is fine, so go ahead and connect it. The next thing we're going to do is find our text, uh, our label here, not our text, our label. And uh, again, hold control, bring it up to the top. And again, this is going to be an outlet for the text that we put in the text field. So uh, just give it a name. We'll just put label in this case. And the type is label. Storage is weak. And uh, go ahead and connect it. And the last thing that we have to do is we have to take this button. And the button is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be an outlet. It's going to be an action that is a result of the text in the text field going into uh, the label there. So you can do the same thing by establishing the action by, again, holding control, drag, click and dragging up into our header file there. And instead of the outlet up here is the connection, drop it down to the action. So in this case, we're just going to put uh, button uh, button click yeah that, that'll work and uh, the rest of this is pretty standard the, the type is going to be your ID um, event is going to be touch up inside you can do uh, a few other variations of this but some of the most def uh, the, the default settings going to be the touch up inside which would be good enough for us 
So, click connect, and I know this is getting long, but just bear with me, we're almost there. We're gonna drop into the implementation file now. So let's go to the standalone editor by clicking the standalone editor up here, and go over to the viewcontroller.m, and as you can see, it already dropped in some, some key components that you don't have to pre-configure anymore with the simple setup that we just did. And so we're looking for the action. And so if you go down to the bottom, you'll see an IB action button clicked. And so this is where we're going to say, when the button's clicked, we want to take the text that's in the text field and display it as the label that we have on screen. So we're going to simply write, I forgot what I was going to write. Nope, I got it. All right, all right. So we're going to take the label.text, and we're going to set that equal to our text, oops, our text field.text. And that's it. I mean, basically we're saying anything that's displayed in our text field also print or display in our label, label field, our label um, object on the screen. So after you've pre-configured the action for the button being clicked, we're going to run the application, make sure it runs, um, see if there's any errors, anything like that on the screen. So click run. It's going to build your, uh, your tutorial here, your application, and we'll see. Okay, after a year that it took there, test it by clicking into the text field, write whatever, and double check. Bringers too. All right, and then the same thing. You can modify the text while it's in the text field, and based on the code that we wrote, any changes you make in the text field, and after you click the button, it's going to be displayed on the screen. So hopefully that helps you understand some of the basics of the text field, labels, buttons, and uh, how as we move forward we can uh, basically implement different things to create these awesome apps. So like you uh, like as you're developing now you know make sure to drop us a comment and let me know the cool apps that you're making so all right peace out guys